Here we sit, Jen, in our gigantic home theater. It's finally complete. 150 inch screen, we have AWOL vision, ultra short throw projector and cabinet. Yeah, I'm super excited, but I don't see where it is. Oh, you want me to, you want me to show you where that is? Please do. All right, this is the coolest part. Okay. Whoa. It even makes the noise and everything. Very dramatic. It's almost like that suspense when you're at the movie theater and the curtains like pull back and it's doing the whole thing. Oh, I'm getting that same vibe. Well, this is actually the big reason we wanted to make this video because we finally got the 120 inch cabinet from AWOL Vision to complete our home theater setup. So we're gonna show you some awesome content on this LTV 3500 Pro because we really like that. But first I wanna talk about the three products we have and how we got here. So Jen, we've come a long way since the 65 inch <laughs> LG C10 we got four years ago, huh? Yeah, really. I thought that it couldn't get any bigger, better, anything from that. And well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got that LG C10, which was the first TV in our living room. Then we went to the 83 inch at that other house, which seemed ridiculous, yeah, right? Mind blowing. Yeah, mind blowing. Then we brought the 83 inch into this house and other people like Brian from Brian Tech Therapy said it looked like we got an iPhone on our wall because the yeah. wall is so massive. So yeah. that was pretty funny. And then of course we started testing out the 98 inch TVs, which have been a lot of fun. Oh yeah, definitely. Probably, probably really good on your back too, right? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> and then we got the 120 inch ALR screen that we put up here. And that was pretty nice because it only weighed like 20 pounds. It was so light. That was my favorite. That okay. was my favorite, absolutely. Definitely light. <laughs> However, I wasn't sold on all the ultra short throw projectors and ultra also how to store them because it's kind of like once you decide to do that then we had our cabinet in here and the ultra short throw would be up on top of that or we had to put it on a lower stand that kind of just looked ugly and then I'm like I don't know about this thing either yeah. so it's kind of one of those things where I didn't want to keep the ultra short throw in there and a couple of them haven't been bright enough to kind of maintain you know this nice look when you have uh, lights in the room so that was another downside so we went back to the 90 inch TVs of course people keep sending this stuff so it's hard to stick to one thing mm -hmm. but finally when we got the AWOL Vision LTV 3500 Pro and we got the 150 inch screen which is up on the wall right now I was kind of like, wow, this might be it. This, yeah. I mean, and so we've been using this and then we had to give the 3500 Pro back to AWOL. And then I was like, oh. <laughs> I know, we didn't like that day. <laughs> yeah, and you know, we had another projector but it didn't fit perfectly and it wasn't as bright. And so now I'm glad to have all three of these products back. So first, let's talk about the 3500 Pro. So really the reason that we like this is because it's 3500 peak lumen, which is very bright for an ultra short throw projector. And it's able to go you know, up onto this screen up to 150 inch size, which is awesome of course. And then the other thing is that it actually has a really big piece of glass lens. So typically other lenses are about two inches wide. This one is 3.2 inches and it has F 2.0. So, you know, pretty technical features, but- Bigger. <laughs> bigger, better, <laughs> sharper. I mean, it really is sharp. and. That's the one thing that I noticed from other projectors to this is that it is extremely sharp and at this 150 inch size. So it's kind of a great combo. And this is a triple laser covering 107% of the Rec 2020 color gambit with enhanced contrast ratio of 2200 to one. And those are things that you're really focused on, right Jen? Absolutely. I mean, one laser, two lasers, I don't care. I want three lasers. Absolutely. Triple laser is the way to go. The only way. <laughs> and it has Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, oh, DTSX, all the different audio codecs. So that's pretty awesome. And this was the one projector that we thought actually gamed well. It has a turbo mode where you get as low as eight milliseconds lag time. So all these things that we really need, you and me right here. Yeah, especially for my Lego games. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever played Lego games on 150 inch screen? Now that's the fun. I have. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Now the only thing that would be cooler than playing those Lego games or watching a Dolby Vision movie or even watching sports is to have the whole 3500 Pro disappear when we're not using it. Yeah, I really love that because it looks like a piece of furniture and it's got some cabinets in there so you can store all your other stuff so it looks very clean. Yeah, I agree. It's a very nice piece. It actually looks fantastic. I wouldn't even care if it didn't have the drawer that pulled out. If this was just our cabinet, I'd be stoked because yeah, the color, sure. the look of it, it's very sleek. Having the drawers on each side are nice. Now, if the projector wasn't in there, it wouldn't have the most storage you can get out of a cabinet because the center of it is used for the projector. But this whole setup works nicely and you can put your peripherals on the side 
You can put movies in the other side. I mean, I don't know if people actually have DVDs any longer. Think, yeah. I mean, you can put your Apple TV on the other side. It will definitely fit. Sure. A lot yeah. of room and really cool kind of like design. And this front piece can actually be taken off and you can adjust the height of this. You can adjust the height of the actual projector inside. We kind of had to manipulate it around a little bit just to kind of understand where everything sat in regards to each other because at first we had it too close to the wall and then the light projected up onto the cabinet and we cut the corners off. So we moved it back, raised it up a little bit. And now when we turn the projector on and off, it's actually connected via USB. So it knows to shut the cabinet. So mm -hmm. it's a pretty cool setup. It does have a lot of holes in the back for you to like get your cords in and out of this. And it even has like an infrared repeater if you wanted to connect different kinds of devices through the cabinet. And it's solid. I mean, it's really heavy. Yeah. So isn't that not how you know it's really good if it's really heavy? Yeah. Solid wood. <laughs> solid wood, rich mahogany. <laughs> Now, the only thing is because this is a 150 inch screen, we actually had to take it a little bit further from the wall and they let us know this ahead of time that this cabinet was technically made for the 120 inch screen. And we are gonna be checking out the LTV 2500 projector with 120 inch daylight screen. So we'll be able to basically use the same setup and bring that smaller screen in here and see how we like it. So I'm really excited for that, but that's why it is out a little bit further. If you have a 120 inch screen, it's gonna be tighter to the wall and you're not gonna have that gap that we have behind it. So now that we have the 3500 Pro and a place to put it, I am much more confident in liking the 150 inch screen on the wall because that was just something I liked, but I'm like, how are we just gonna get a projected screen up there? Do we go with a forward facing projector? Do we get a UST? But we kind of had this up higher because of the cabinet and everything was set up. So now that we put this in here and lowered the screen down to match where this needs to be, I kind of think this is like a complete setup. I mean, we've already watched a couple of movies on this and it's looked fantastic. Again, very bright, even in a moderately lit room. If it's in a dark room, it's amazing. And then when I'm watching basketball or football, we're able to split this screen into four and get four 75 inch TVs, which is really kind of what I'd want to do is put like four 98 inch TVs up on this wall. Yeah. But I don't know if I need it that often, but having this 150 inch screen, like I said, when you cut it into four, it's the equivalent of having four 75 inch screens, which is absolutely amazing. And I think if you're building a home theater, this would be a great setup. Now, again, this is our living room, so it's a little ridiculous, but yeah. You know, it's it's nice to have those kind of yeah. options. That's what we like to do. Yeah. Just be a little ridiculous. And now the one downside to this 150 inch screen is that I guess all of these 150 inch have to have a seam in them because before they could only do a 120 inch screen and then they tacked on another strip above it. And so it's a little bit noticeable and it's actually not nearly as noticeable as other brands that I've seen before. Some of them actually have like a black line running through it because they think in a cinema in your home theater, you won't notice it. But this line is very, it's well done, but this is not even on the website right now because they have a new 132 inch seamless screen with the ALR, the auto light rejection. So maybe that's even better than having one with a seam. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's not that big of a difference in yeah. size. I mean, sometimes we do notice that seam a little, just a little yeah, bit when you have like that. a gray screen or something like that. But overall, really happy with the screen. Really happy with all three of these products, but I would definitely consider the 132 inch screen. We actually got to see that at CES. Now I'm not sure if that screen that we saw was the exact one that they're putting on the website now, but this is 132 inch seamless cinematic ALR screen. And that's ambient light rejection. I think I said auto light rejection, but ambient light rejection. Now there is a bunch of technical information you can get on the website, but one of the things that stuck out to me was the immersive viewing with 170 degree ultra wide viewing angle. So you can enjoy a bright and vivid picture, Jen. It's the only kind of picture I want. Yeah. I mean, it is actually quite nice. You can pretty much see from anywhere in the room the same as sitting straight on, which is not always the case with a large TV. You know, we've had some of those 98 inch TVs. They don't look great off angle sometimes, but that's one thing with this. If you're watching this in a dark room, you could be over here, it could be center stage. You can actually be upstairs walking down. It still looks amazing from any angle. So I'm a big fan of these screens. I'm a big fan of all three of these products. So Jen, now we have the 3500 Pro, which I love. We have the screen, which we like, and we can even try the 132 inch, yeah, you know, it'd be awesome. And then we have the cabinet, which is not going anywhere. Absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah, it's staying. And so now the only thing to do is watch a bunch of stuff on TV, of course. Well, I know that's what you love to do. <laughs> so, you know, we've already watched a couple movies and I've watched some of the March Madness games that are currently running. And one thing that got me, Jen, is that when we were watching Ready Player One, even though I have a pretty nice sound system, we have a little like sound system from Sony, the HTA9, where it's got the four different speakers and a giant subwoofer, it just doesn't do justice for this home theater experience. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing that's kind of lacking. I mean, I was sleeping while you were watching. Yes, and you did tell us to turn it down even with those speakers, <laughs> yeah. but really what we need to do is figure out how we're gonna get a big AVR and a center channel and all the speakers set up on here. So my plan is to put a big speaker on each side for the fronts, which is no problem. But then the next thing is, are we gonna be able to fit a center channel up there where it doesn't block the projector? Mm -hmm. Now that's an issue. I mean, I would even consider putting a center channel on one side here and putting the AVR on the other. I think it would kind of look cool, kind of like a 2.1 system, but not really, you know, 3.1 system in the front. But what I want to do is get some height channels, get some rear channels and make this like a legit 5.2.4 setup. What do you think? That sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, I don't think, <laughs> probably. But I mean, we just have to run a couple speaker wires under this, which, you know, the carpet might get in the way, but we don't really have a great way to get speakers in the back. But the point is, if we have an incredible setup like this, we really need to do the audio justice because yeah. that is like, you know, 60, 70% of the experience is the sound, but the visual is clearly set up and I like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I can't even imagine what it's gonna look like when we get all the pieces together. So yes, this is gonna be our setup going forward. The LTV 3500 Pro, the 150 inch screen, we might try the 132 inch ALR seamless screen, and then we have the 120 inch cabinet. Okay, so we love it, B loves it, which is all that really matters. But we wanna know, do you love it? What are we missing here? What kind of sound system do you think we should have to help support this beautiful cinema setup? Let us know in the comments. And check out the links in the description below. All of these AWOL Vision products are down there. And we wanna thank AWOL for sending us this beautiful cabinet. It looks amazing and really completes the setup. And I'm very happy that we're able to get it all done. See you guys in the next video. Bye.